Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, and if it's Wednesday, you know what that means. It's Firmware Day! That's right, baby. And today, at Games version 4.10.0, the Raspberry Pi is alive. And we're going to talk about it right after this. Okay guys, welcome back. Now, I don't make a video every single time a firmware comes out. I only make videos when I find a particular feature of a firmware release is super exciting, and I usually make videos highlighting that particular feature. And in this case, we got a really, really awesome features that came out in this firmware today. I had no choice. I had to make a video to show off this stuff. Uh, so sit back, relax, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to show you how simple and easy it is to connect your Raspberry Pi to your At Games Legends Ultimate via the USB feature. Uh, but I'm super excited, we're going to hop into it right now. Okay guys, so it's important to note that if you're going to use a Raspberry Pi on the Legends Ultimate, the ones that are compatible are a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running RetroPie version 4.5.1, or you could use a Raspberry Pi 4 running Laka version 2.3.2. As you saw right there, we went ahead and we plugged our Raspberry Pi's HDMI cable into the left HDMI port on the control deck. Now in order to connect our controls, you will need a male-to-male -a, a USB cable. And we're going to go ahead and get this plugged into the Pi, but we're not going to plug it into the control deck just yet. The next thing that, of course, we're going to need is our power source for our Pi. We're going to go ahead and get this plugged into the Pi, and we're going to go ahead and power on our Pi. Keep in mind, again, the HDMI cable is plugged into the left port. And we're going to let that bad boy get booted up. This particular Pi image is a recall box image. In fact, this is the 16 gigabyte legendary arcade recall box for the Pi 3B Pus image from Mike Oz. If you're an arcade punk, you'll know where to find it. I really like this image, and even though it's running recall box, not retro Pi, it does work with the Legends Ultimate. And it does have several pretty awesome opening sequences that randomly play when you first power on the Pi. Okay, so as you can see here, the Raspberry Pi is booted up. You can see the recall box front end. It's kind of This one's kind of set up a little bit like CoinOps. It's got the cute wheel on it, all that kind of stuff. Now what we want to do is at this point, we want to head over to our settings menu. And when we get to our settings menu, we want to head over to the Bluetooth on the top right. And we want to switch it to OTG mode. That's right, OTG mode. So we're going to find OTG hit apply and we're gonna have our USB cable ready and once we hit apply we're gonna do the three two one countdown and at this point we're gonna go ahead and plug this in to the leftmost port keep in mind that the HDMI cable plus the USB cable need to be plugged into the leftmost port yes I do have some dangly wires there they're kind of ugly we really don't want to fiddle with these right now and I'm sure you don't want to keep these out here all the time the goal of course would be to permanently mount a Raspberry Pi in back of the unit and run the wires through uh, to keep it nice and clean and tidy especially if this is something you're gonna do more frequently now you'll notice my controls already work and that's because I've already mapped uh, this particular Raspberry Pi and the uh, the recall box image to the legends. Now keep in mind if it's your first time, you're brand new, uh, when you first plug in your RetroPie, it's going to, at this point, it's going to detect that you have game pads. It's going to pop up automatically that you have two game pads available. Now from this point, you can go ahead and map your buttons in whatever way, shape, or form works best for you. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and just manually map the buttons so you can see me going through the steps on this particular image. Now note it will detect both player 1 and player 2. However, you're only able to map the player 1 and you're only able to really use the player 1 controls because we're a button short on the player 2 side. When it comes to setting your hotkey button, you probably want to use uh, the rewind button, which is tied into the player one controls. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have an extra button like the rewind button to map your player two controls, so you're not able to get player two up and running because you're essentially a key short. Now let's go ahead and get a game fired up. I'm gonna get, just get your basic Galaga fired up. Now here's what one thing I did discover or have noticed myself personally is when it comes to the sound when you're playing off the RetroPie you're not getting the maximum sound that you would get when you're playing a game on the Legends one of the included games or even games you bring your own ROMs things of that nature um, or when you're streaming to the Legends the the sound when you're doing doing it this way is not that powerful it's pretty quiet actually um, so there is one trade-off there and uh, definitely want to give that feedback to at games and see if there's anything they can do to pump up the sound when you are uh, playing an HDMI device on their machine even when you have it at maximum volume of a hundred it's not it's it feels like it would be closer to 40 on the regular machine so there's definitely something going on with the sound there in all honesty but the games work you can hear them you get you're just not able to blow your ears out and right here I picked a game where you actually have to use a few more buttons than just the fire button and you'll see that we are able to play Mortal Kombat using multiple buttons for attacks kicks and punches and everything's working just fine no big deal and of course, if you've watched my channel before, you guys know I'm a big fan of Battletoads, so definitely had to throw a Battletoads cameo in here. Uh, the, pin the punches and the kicks are working, not really any delays, I didn't really feel any lag or anything of that nature, just like the other games. Everything seems to be running fine. My only real concern is two things. Number one, we don't have a way... At least I couldn't figure out a way, if someone else can figure it out, let me know. A way to get player two controls up and running, because we're short a key. And then uh, the other uh, concern is the sound is not uh, the best. Uh, we're not getting the maximum uh, potential out of the speakers when we're running the pie. Uh, but minus that, uh, everything else is playable, and it's a really enjoyable experience, and it's a great way to get games up and running without building 10 tons of UCE files uh, one at a time. Yes, yes, I know the instructions said to use a RetroPie, the latest version of RetroPie, but I had to try my favorite recall box image. I had to make sure that it was working, and it is, which is good news as well. However, let me show you guys what happens, though, if you do plug in the RetroPie software program, Let me sh or the front end, I should say. Let me show you what happens. As you can see here, we're capturing the screen from the Legends, make it nice and easy for you to see. We got your RetroPie, and it's going to start running the uh, the boot up script here in just a second. Okay, so after the emulation station pops up, you'll notice it says it's not detecting any game pads. Well, that's because I swapped out, I powered off my Pi, put in a new SD card uh, that's got a basic retro pie image that I just flashed on here real quick so we're gonna have to go back and reactivate our OTG now the good news is guys and keep this in mind you saw that earlier with the recall box images once you have your particular image mapped to the Legends Ultimate I've noticed that it stays mapped so the next time you plug it in and you turn on OTG the controls should still be mapped saved ready to go uh, so you don't have to go through the entire button mapping process every single time, which is great. The only thing you have to do is go and turn on the OTG. But keep in mind, with one of the firmware updates, you can now choose what screen you want your Legends Ultimate to boot up to. So you could always boot it up to the settings menu. As you can see, once it was OTG was turned back on, 
the Pi detected the control deck, it detected the game pads, and from here, you can go ahead and map the buttons any way you see fit that works for you. Okay guys, as you can see, and apologies if I was pretty monotone in the video, I have been feeling under the weather uh, the last couple of days, uh, but anyway, uh, so yes, uh, the Raspberry Pi, very, very easy to connect and uh, get your RetroPie up and running, and good news, the recall box works as well. And by all means, if you have other images, give them a shot, see if those will work as well. But if you're using a 3B+, um, I'm, I'm feeling like you'll, you'll be in a good spot. Um, also, included in the latest update was the light guns. So light guns are going to be available as well. However, that's going to be a separate video, and I'm going to try and get that done tonight or tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, and get that posted for you guys so you can see how light guns work on the Legends Ultimate, how to get them calibrated properly, and all that stuff. Um, and then, of course, I have behind me, you'll notice we have the Pixelcade marquee. What's cool about plugging in your RetroPie device uh, to the, or the Raspberry Pi, if it's running RetroPie, to the Pixelcade marquee, there's some special scripts you can run that'll get the marquee working uh it'll it'll sync with the raspberry pi that way it'll change when you play games uh that'll be a separate video as well i could have done all this stuff for you in one video but i didn't want you guys to have to watch a 30 minute video so i figured hey we make three quick 10 minute videos that way you can pick the topic that's important to you and watch it i think that'll be an easier way to go if you're new to the channel and you're looking forward to these videos as well as many other things that i cover whether it's arcade one up toy shock at games old school arcades, whatever it is, uh, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Go ahead and start playing with your pies. We'll get them tied into the Pixelcade marquee, and we're going to get the light guns up and running here in no time. Talk to you soon.